Well, many of you are probably thinking about your green attire for tomorrow. Don't want to get pinched. Mm -hmm. Some Virginia Beach first graders have another idea. This St. Patrick's Day, they hope to catch some leprechauns. The plan at Princess Anne Elementary started this afternoon with homemade traps. Ten on your side's Mike Aiken has the story. It might be hard to tell, but this school has a leprechaun problem. And tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. There are leprechauns everywhere you look, but these first graders have come up with a solution to that problem. A leprechaun trap? That's right. These kids are going to try and catch a leprechaun. When the leprechaun comes in, he tries to get the gold and you pull the thing down like that. But there's more to this than just catching a leprechaun. They are using principles they've learned in class to build these traps. He follows the coins. This is a pulley system. And when the, when the leprechaun comes, when she picks up the liquid gold, she tries to drink it, and this comes down on top, of, and the leprechaun is trapped. The force is a push. It's gravity. When he tries to get in, he walks up there, then he falls in. A leprechaun can either pull it and it'll fall him, or he can pull the coins out and the left way it has it'll fall on him. The traps are set and ready to go, so with a little luck of the Irish, these kids are hoping to find a pot of gold when they come back to school. In Virginia Beach, Mike Aiken, 10 on your side. Wow, That's they are very creative. Very elaborate mm -hmm. traps. I hope that when they trap those leprechauns, they'll keep them so we can yeah. come back and get some video tomorrow. We want to see them. Mm -hmm. The students put down their leprechaun traps before they left school at 3 this afternoon. Yeah, the first graders will get to see the results of their work tomorrow morning. Keep your fingers crossed, kids. <laughs>